coming off being on tour for two years and then all of a sudden being on my own, what could I do but reflect on who, who am I? Well, the new album was recorded in three weeks, which was a lifetime compared to what I've done before. I just thought, well, look, if there's a time that I'm going to grow, it's now, and I have to do things differently. There you are. Hey, brother. Good to see you. Looking very prosperous and colourful. I love it. You're in Barcelona. How's your Spanish? Is that okay? A un poquito. Yeah, 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 yeah. The last time we met was January 2020, just before lockdown. Yes, to the fight, the Lord's sons and the unholy ghost. The stones that seem destined to get left behind interest me the most. I am the prodigal son, resting his head on the drum that was carried. Should I welcome in parade? Do all I give all I have? Should I give all I have? Strip me bare, let me wash in the rain. If you would compare that day that we recorded over here in Hilversum in Studio 7 and now you sitting there after finishing uh, an EP, is there any comparison possible? The only comparison really is the excitement to release new music because when I saw your last I was about to release or I had released the first album. But this time so much has happened in the last year. Like I was on tour for two years on the road and then in February of 2020 I was living in the Irish Art Centre in Paris for a month. So coming off being on tour for two years and then all of a sudden being on my own, what could I do but reflect on who, who am I? And who do I think I am? And what has happened, you know? And then musically, I've been playing songs from the first album as well for, for a couple of years and I felt that I wanted to go somewhere different. I wanted to, to write in a different way. And the songs that came were just emotional responses to how I was feeling. In the past when I know less than I know now, which isn't much, I slept inside Peter O'Toole's drinking stories. I was on my own, I was in isolation. I was drinking a lot. Um, I was writing some poetry, that's the reason I was there. I'd come to, come to realize that, you know, wow, I, I'm not really sure if I like being on my own. And with that came a lot of anxiety and fear and paranoia. But the thing about it is I can, all, I can channel all that into, into music. And as I said, songs are the emotional response. Onwards now, onwards now. One boot is more than enough. Later in the year, I lost a band member, so I'm dealing with grief and um, the shock and, the, and the, the trauma of that, you know? Losing? You mean he died? He passed away, yeah. My bass player passed away, Gar Kane. Cool. So again, it's like the death of innocence. You're with this band and your, your brothers, you know, he, he, he took his own life. So can I ask you, do we know why he took his own life? He was, he was depressed and... Um, you know, his wife's been very brave and she spoke out about it, Caroline, and, and in the hopes that other people would find some some healing in the story. But to go from playing the Olympia Theatre in Dublin in January of 2020, releasing an album, to that seismic trauma in between, you know, for his family, never mind us as, as friends and bandmates. But again, me individually having to deal with all that and process that. It gave me a kind of a rebirth. I put things into perspective and, you know, if I ever get to tour again, and this, is my, this is my first love, music, playing, art. It has given me memories with the likes of Gar and brought me into close contact with people in, in rooms. And it's, it's informed me about myself as a person. So this time around, Jan, I just want to, I'm going to enjoy every moment of it and not take it too seriously. It's, it's like, we survived COVID. Not many, not, some people didn't. You know, you, you take that into perspective and it, it, it trims away all the bullshit. Once upon a time, my mother was a lady. An OCD fat grilling machine. That was then and that was that. Once upon a time, my father was a coward. 
but I love him for who he is in the present. That was that. I'm a six-week premature ejaculation, baby. The incubator done me no how. I had its chow, and that was that. For those who don't know who Peter O'Toole is, could you explain who that is? Well, he was a, an actor from the 50s, 60s, Lawrence of Arabia. I would watch interviews with Peter O'Toole on Letterman and, and American television, and he would tell these amazing booze stories. And I think by watching them, he would give me permission to go and, and partake in chaos, you know? <laughs> so in that song, I'm kind of saying, well, it's, it's introspection. That's what I was like. This is what I'm like now, and that's where I want to go. It's all, it's all about moving forward. It's moving on. It's the passing of time. Time is distorted in that song because I'm processing things. But it's really self-acceptance and saying, you know, I understand a bit more now about self-love and self-destruction. Let's talk a bit about the new album. When will it be out officially? The 1st of October, I believe. You're a fast recorder, huh? On your first album, you it took you a week to record it. How is it on the new songs? Well, the new album was recorded in three weeks, which was a lifetime compared to what I've done before. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We did it in Black Mountain Studios, which is just outside where I grew up, really, up in the mountain. And um, Jonathan Mooney, the producer, he's in a band called Other Lives. I think we did 20 songs in the three weeks. We got it down to 11, but it was there was a big build-up of songs in the big build-up and the recording was just a release you know because sometimes you just can't process things until you get them out of you yeah the fact that i got them out just it cleared space for me to to breathe your light makes darkness visible the legends say you are holistic the smell of sulfur looms in my room i'm superstitious eat me up For this record, it was three weeks in the studio with myself, the producer Jonathan, and Aaron Steele, who plays percussions on the record. And we literally just built the songs up from the ground with my voice, my guitar, piano, and the percussion and some strings. And it, it just allowed for a different approach. You know, it was less there was less bodies in the room. I also said to Jonathan going into this record, like, I'm willing to turn people off for me to evolve as an artist on this album because I've been doing the same thing more or less for three or four years. Me and the guitar, live. And I just I just thought, well, look, if there's a time that I'm going to grow, it's now. And I have to do things differently for me. And if I go in with that with that conviction and it, it goes tits up, well, I stand by it because it feels like a natural progression. How do you not know me by now? How? How do you not know me by now? How? Thank you very much for your time now. Um, let's try to arrange something as soon as we're able to travel again and open a studio. I'd love that, yeah. I think the, the Amsterdam gig is um, 22nd of October in Paradiso, I think. So, Just after the release of the album. Good to see you there. Okay, very good. Thanks very much for your time now. Thanks, brother. The hoarder who is hoarding innumerable gifts of boredom these truths they are all yours they're seeping out from all your pores my heart my heart